the crap that is being told by society, like a female's past doesn't matter and mm -hmm. all this shit doesn't matter. This is what's interesting in the fight against the Matrix because people always say to me, Andrew, why do you come here and say all these things? They're literally trying to destroy your life for what you say. And the truth is, as a man, you have two choices. You either fight against the programming and the brainwashing they're trying to put inside of all of our minds or you end up fighting against yourself. If you're a man and you sit down and you believe the garbage that society is telling you about the, how society functions between men and women, you're going to end up getting fucking wrecked like these dudes do. Mm -hmm. They sit there and go, just because she's fucked everyone doesn't mean she'll do it again. Just because <laughs> they, And they sit there like dummies and they get fucking wrecked. Right? You have to sit there as a man and go, no, I don't give a shit what society is telling me. I understand something baseline about humanity, right? And that's why they make these poor choices. And a lot of men do make these poor choices. But it's only in the West. It's only in the West where this propaganda machine exists. You will not find a Russian billionaire doing this dumb shit. You will not find a Chinese billionaire doing this dumb shit. You do not go to Saudi and find a sheikh doing this dumb shit. None of it. You only okay. find it in the West. Do you do you think okay. the values of the West are spreading? What like, what values? So, so name just, a value. Okay. Of the West. <laughs> sorry, 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 name sorry. Name a value. Sorry, I'm, I might have misspoke. Ideals. I mean, like the ideas of the West. Like I've heard, I just got like I get messages from people like from all over, and like in places like India, I've heard feminism is spreading there. Like I've heard that. Do you not find that to be true? So, firstly, the West has no value. The only thing the West seems to defend fervently is lgbt i'm not saying anything about it about it i'm not i'm just saying it's the only thing that they'll stand up and fight for i don't know yeah. why it's weird like this, they don't care about anything else they don't care about children going without child support they don't care about people dying in wars mm. they don't care about our old our parents being in parent homes they don't care about crime they don't care about no one being able to pay their energy bills they don't care about nothing but they give a shit some for some reason about this one thing and they'll fucking throw the flag Which all around again, the world surrounded around sex. that's the, that's all they care about it's fucking strange so that's the first thing about the values of the west second thing the harder society and the harder the life is as a whole the, the longer it's going to take for feminism to spread. Feminism only exists in a vacuum of an easy life. If you're living Big in a facts. society like India where life is hard, feminism disappears because the harder life is, the closer people naturally revert to their gender roles. If you got yep. a bunch of 10 men, 10 women stranded them on a desert island and they had to survive, very quickly the men would do men shit and the women would do women shit. There'd be very yep. little talk about feminism and equality mm -hmm. and all this shit would fucking vanish when shit hits the fan, right? So... In countries where life is harder, feminism can't take hold because feminism can only exist in a vacuum of a very privileged life. I'm sure there's some kid in India who didn't get laid off some chick and he's complaining she's a feminist. There's a bunch of dumb shit, right? But, but I think the world is going to get a lot harder. I think the world is cyclical. I think it's been easy for a while. I think hard times are coming. And when hard times come, people are going to naturally revert to what gives them the highest chance of survival, which is gender roles, right? Mm. I have the best chance of survival being a man and a woman has the best chance of survival being my woman. That's how she's going to function. Do you, do you think women typically are happier um, as housewives rather than a career? Well, I think so. The personally. Career. No, the depends answer, on the man. The answer is absolutely not really yes, because giving life is the most beautiful thing a female can do. That's what you have evolved to do. That's the thing that men cannot do. I think that women who focus on having children and do their best to be good mothers in the end are the happiest females on the planet. Being a mother and being Big a facts. housewife is kind of different, though. Okay, no, but it's it's essentially the same thing. If you're a housewife long enough, I'm going to assume you're going to end up having you're children. You're going to become a mother. I think that yeah. the sooner a woman has children, the better. If she can find a good man and have a child, that's a fantastic thing. I think it's a beautiful thing. And I don't see the point in a woman slaving away for a corporation that doesn't care about her as opposed to slaving away for her own flesh and blood. I yeah, big facts. Like, think about it. As a woman, you waste all of your fertile years since you're like, I don't know, 18, 19, working for a corporation, 30 years. And then they come in, you know, new ownership. They fire you at 50, maybe pay you out a little sediment. Then what? You have cats and dogs. You, you die alone. And I'm saying there's nothing better than like going to a family reunion and seeing my grandparents and then my grandparents have like freaking 12 kids and then like freaking 30 grandkids 40 great grands like all of those people literally came from that one woman deciding you know what i want to have kids <laughs> like she literally gave birth to an entire army that's the power women have bro they have the power to literally create an army if they live long enough and have a few kids it, it's crazy dog I think that's a complete waste of a life. I think if men are already doing that, why would you want to go along and do that because as well? Because a career is not just slaving away for a corporation. A career can involve it always is. things. Well, that, that's exactly the what hell? a career is. It's slaving well, away for a corporation that doesn't care about you. And I understand you have to pay the bills, and I understand you don't want to be completely sufficient. You want, want to be self-sufficient. You don't want to be dependent on a man. I understand all that. But in an idealistic scenario, in the vacuum of ideology, 
if you could sit and have and be a woman and focus on having children or focus on doing a job, I think on a long enough time scale, you're going to be much happier with your progeny so as opposed to working a job. Can I ask you a question? Because I feel like we talk a lot about hoes. We talk about a lot of the extreme. There's a lot of great matter in the middle sure. where a lot of women kind of get lost. Yep. For example, I think that one of the issues sometimes that I hear a lot about, and I personally may say I feel it sometimes, is that when you're also a quite educated woman, intellectual, intelligent, whatever, smart, a lot of the time, naturally, you speak in a way that stands out from other people, yep. right? And I find that a lot of the time, that kind of intimidates some of the mandem, where they start thinking, this girl is a bit too much. Now, it is not my fault that I'm smart. It's not my fault that I can put one and one together very nicely, very quickly. What kind of man is Sorry. going to handle that? I think me a minute. Listen to what she just said, right? The way how she speaks, men are intimidated by her. More than likely, she comes across as like very condescending, right? Because she's intelligent. And then also, listen to the line that she followed up here with. What kind of man is going to want to handle me? Why the hell would I want to handle my woman? You know what I'm saying? If I have to go out and work 80 hours a week, bust my ass to provide a roof over her head, food in the house, buy you gifts, take you places, do things with you, you're supposed to be my piece, right? I come home and things are just nice and easy. I relax. You know what I'm saying? I'm like, whew, the world just gone off my shoulder. And we just cuddle up together, watch a movie, eat some food, and just chill. I don't want to come home and fight with you. I have to fight the world and then come home and fight my girl. Like, what the fuck? This woman laughs like I don't speak four languages and got three degrees. Now I thought she's trying to say you're not smart. It's okay. I speak for Flexing with her education, bro. Nasa, can you help me out? I'm trying to find a husband, the kind of beast that can handle a woman like me. Your education doesn't make you sexy. I'm going to say that. You being a feminine woman makes you way more attractive than how much you got packed in your brain here. Just going to say that. Look at her face, bro. Well, <laughs> well, this, well, this is another point, right? And, and, I'm only answering generally, right? Because this is the first time I've met all of you ladies. You've all been very polite to me. You've all been very nice. I'm just talking generally. And I'm going to answer it based on your last sentence. Your last sentence was handle a woman like me. Mm -hmm. let's, let's look at the average man's life like I just discussed earlier, how difficult it is, how competitive he has to be, and how many problems he has to fix. Do you think he wants to handle any woman? Okay, so... Do you, like the idea of any degree of problem. It's the straw that breaks the camel's back. Like mm -hmm. the, the point of the point of having a woman as a man, for me at least, is for her to be my make your life quiet. easier. Make your life easier, bro. My life is stress. You see me? I'm rolling around with fucking security teams, and I got problems, and they're after me. And da -da. I, I'm when I come home to my chick, the last thing I want to do is have to handle anything. I want her to sit the fuck down and her make me happy. Mm -hmm. She needs to be my positive energy. She needs to be my sunshine in the rainstorm. Okay. So uh, you're talking about him handle you. I don't know. I can't <laughs> answer the question exactly. But if you're sitting there constantly arguing over small points or correcting him or that he's probably thinking this is about i don't have the energy to for another fight okay so mm -hmm. now let me add extra context this is why when black women say oh i'm strong independent i don't need no man they can't handle me because i'm so independent this is why men say okay bet i'm gone because i don't want to handle you i have to go out and bust my ass already like i'm tired bro i just want to come home and relax i don't want to come home and fight with you what I mean as well. So obviously submission is something that people talk about a lot. Yeah. For me, I'm a logical person, I believe. And I submit with logic. I don't submit by default because okay. there's a level of respect that I believe I need to have yes. to be able to submit. Obviously, it's I not agree. that I go around and I disrespect all men and everything, but yeah. I find that my level of thought process a lot of the times... Mm, it makes it hard. No. So I don't. I know what you're trying to say. Yeah, thank you. You know, but you need to find a man you truly respect to submit to him. Yeah. And I completely respect that. And that's the same with that's the same with 99 percent of women. Like you, you're never going to submit to a man you don't respect. Mm. And and respect is ultimately important because you're not going to sleep with a man you don't respect. You're not going to be attracted to a man you don't respect. Respect is the bottom line of it. And the man has a job to do. He has a duty to do to be worthy of respect. But this Big all facts. goes back into a very interesting point. Some of the points I've kind of mentioned earlier. If I was a woman. If I was a chick, the chance of me ending up in a relationship with a man I don't respect is 0%. I don't Big understand facts. how you girls end up. Well, I do understand how you girls end up here. You end up here because of feminism, promiscuity, mm -hmm. promises that running around taking dick is fine, dumb shit, stupid decisions. I'm independent, so it doesn't matter that he's a dummy. Bunch of garbage. When you should be waking up going, you know what? I'm going to be extremely selective, and I'm going to take my time and be very, very smart mm -hmm. because you're the gatekeeper. 
By the time you're in a relationship with somebody, you should have immense respect for that man. Absolute immense respect. You shouldn't be able mm-hmm. to get there any other way. The only reason you've got there is because you've been tricked by society and lied to and told a bunch of fucking bullshit. So, yeah. you, so you're talking about submission and respect. Yeah. It'll come when you meet the right man, naturally. And this is another point I make because I have a lot of men message me. I trust, guys, mm. please understand the most Googled man on the planet. I have 100,000 emails a day Bam. from people. For, and I get dudes email me. How do I get my woman to submit? And I don't reply to, I can't reply to all the emails. But I, if I ever read them, I'm like, bro, you're a fucking dork. Why would she reply <laughs> to you? Why would she submit to you? You're a fucking nerd. That's the truth. I'm not out here saying submit to all men. Men are the boss. I'm saying, listen, there's Submit to the guys who are worth submitting to. Big facts. I agree with Andrew Tate. If you're a man, if you're a woman and your man is not providing a safe space for you, right? Doing his duty as a man, provisioning, providing financially, you, you can't ask for submission, bro. Like what the hell? Natural balance in the universe. When you meet a G, I've never had a tr- I've never had trouble with a woman obeying me. She just wants to. It's natural for our dynamic. Mm-hmm. If she didn't want to obey me, we wouldn't even get to the point of a relationship. If she didn't feel like she wanted to listen to me, we would have never got to where we want to get. It just doesn't work. That shit only happens when the female's fucking giving up sex too easy and the dude's just picking up easy pussy and they end up in some bullshit relationship they don't even like each other. Mm-hmm. That's dumb shit. That's dumb shit, right? But I don't have any of these problems in my life. And if you're a dude at home and you're watching this and you go, I want my woman to submit and she doesn't, guess what? She doesn't respect you. And guess whose fault that is a lot of the time? Your Yours. Fault. Uh, Big facts. Fault as a man. Tell yes. Us. It is. Yes. No, no, it is. Yes. No, no. I'm That's not, what no, you guys need to damn here. Tell him. But it's not, it's not about blaming men and women because everyone has a problem. But but then there's also men who are worthy of respect who women refuse to respect True. because of society. Tell the so, sisters so there's too. So there's two sides to it, right? Mm. But a lot of it is if you're a capable enough man and you're brilliant enough, then the female has no choice. But it's very interesting. This goes back into a point I made earlier about how important it is for us men to find women who we don't believe have had a lot of life experience and look like they are. Because I got attacked. I'm going to make this point right now. I got attacked when the Matrix attacked me and fucking lied about me. Mm. They said that men are interested in women who are younger because they're more programmable. And that they're trying to make out that I'm making out that men are out here trying to get women and fucking do bad things to them. No. What I'm saying is... If you find a woman who's younger and been through less things, less trauma, less relationships, less headache, she's lived less life, your ideals, if you ask any woman who loves her man, what's your favorite song? His favorite song. Who do you vote mm-hmm. for? Who he votes for? What's your favorite car? His car. That, that's how it happens when a woman loves a man. Yup, yup. I kept, yo, I've been in a relationship for 12 years and I got to say a lot of the shit that I like, my girl likes. And she just likes it because I like it. <laughs> we listen to the same music for the most part. We watch the same shows for the most part. Like, it's actually kind of crazy. And it's a lot of things that she didn't do before me that she just does now naturally because of me. So I agree with Andrew Tate, man. And that makes the man feel good, right? If she's been through too much shit, then that's a lot harder to pull off. So that, mm-hmm. that, 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 that link is very important for men and women. But, um, so yeah, the Matrix attacked me with that. But it's very, very interesting. You have to understand all these small sub-dynamics and why things are happening and why the world is the way it is. And the baseline of it is, is that everything's fucked. Men aren't acting like men and women are acting like women and it's all messed up. 